It is estimated that during his lifetime he made about 500 optical lenses. He made observations for the sample with his microscopes several times till he was convinced that they were accurate. Due to acute eyesight, powerful lenses, great care and curiosity, Hooke's simple microscope achieved magnification more than 270x. Hooke's curiosity to observe things around and his habit of describing what he saw was the main reason for his success. He also hired illustrators to prepare drawing of the things he saw. Sample of water from marshy lake outside Delft in 1674 showed the presence of several tiny animals which he called animacules. He discovered bacteria in 1676 using pepper infusions. He also observed them in feces and in the scrapings from his own teeth. His observations opened the way for study of completely new cast of living things, the microbes. Hooke started sending the copies of his recorded microscopic observations to the Royal Society of London. His eighth letter to the Royal Society of London in 1676 clearly described the organisms which we today refer to as bacteria. The society was skeptic about his observations of the microbial world. But when the society was convinced, Hooke was appointed as a fellow of the Royal Society in 1680. He became a famous personality like Isaac Newton and Robert Boyle. He wrote about 560 letters to the society and other institutions. He died in 1723 at the age of 90. During his lifetime, the life expectancy of human in Europe was about 42 years. The techniques of grinding such fine lenses were never revealed by Leeuwenhoek to others. The science of microbiology did not develop much in the next century as the microbes were only the creatures of curiosity and the natural philosophers thought that these small animacules could not cause any harm or use to living beings. This turned to be exactly opposite after the developments in microbiology.